What is PRP? PRP, platelet-rich plasma treatment, is a medical procedure that involves extracting a person's blood, processing it to concentrate the platelets, and then injecting that concentrated plasma back into specific areas of the body. Platelets are a component of blood that aid in healing by releasing growth factors, which play a crucial role in tissue repair and regeneration. What PRP is made up of? Platelets. These are small blood cells that play a crucial role in clotting and tissue repair. In PRP, the concentration of platelets is significantly higher than that found in normal blood. Plasma. This is the liquid portion of blood, mainly composed of water, proteins, and nutrients. Growth factors. Platelets contain growth factors that stimulate healing processes. These include proteins that help in tissue regeneration, inflammation reduction, and cell proliferation. The idea behind PRP therapy is that by concentrating the platelets and growth factors, healing can be accelerated and improved in various tissues, including skin, tendons, muscles, and joints. PRP is most commonly used for treating knee osteoarthritis. Several clinical studies have reported that PRP injections can reduce pain and improve joint function in patients with mild to moderate knee OA. Compared to corticosteroid injections or hyaluronic acid injections, PRP may offer longer-lasting relief. Patients often report improvements in pain, mobility, and overall quality of life after PRP treatment. How PRP treatment works Step 1. Blood collection. A small amount of the patient's blood is drawn, typically from the arm. Step 2. Centrifugation. The blood is then placed in a centrifuge which spins it rapidly to separate its components based on density. The result is a concentration of platelets in a small volume of plasma. Step 3. Injection. The PRP is injected into the targeted area, such as an injured muscle, joint, or skin, to stimulate healing and repair. Common uses of PRP therapy. PRP therapy is used in a variety of medical fields, including orthopedics, dermatology, and sports medicine. Some common applications include joint pain. PRP is commonly used to treat joint pain and osteoarthritis, especially in the knees, shoulders, hips, and elbows. Tendon injuries. Chronic conditions like tendonitis or tendon tears, such as tennis elbow or Achilles tendonitis, may benefit from PRP. Ligament injuries. PRP is sometimes used to treat ligament injuries, including sprains and partial tears. Hair restoration. PRP injections can be used to treat hair loss conditions, such as androgenic alopecia, male-female pattern baldness, by stimulating hair follicles. Facial rejuvenation, vampire facial. PRP can be injected into the face to stimulate collagen production, reduce wrinkles, improve skin tone, and promote overall skin rejuvenation. Scar reduction. PRP may help reduce the appearance of acne scars or surgical scars by promoting healing and collagen remodeling. Wound healing. PRP has been used in cases of chronic wounds, such as diabetic ulcers or pressure sores, where healing is difficult. Benefits of PRP treatment. Natural healing. Because PRP comes from the patient's own blood, it is a natural treatment that reduces the risk of allergic reactions or other complications. Non-invasive procedure. PRP therapy is less invasive than surgical treatments and can be done on an outpatient basis with minimal recovery time. Tissue regeneration. The growth factors in PRP can stimulate the body's own repair processes, enhancing the regeneration of damaged tissues. Pain relief. For certain conditions, PRP can reduce pain and improve joint function by accelerating tissue healing. Risks and Side Effects PRP treatment is generally considered safe because it uses the patient's own blood, minimizing the risk of allergic reactions. However, as with any medical procedure, there are potential risks, including Infection Although rare, there is a small risk of infection at the injection site pain or discomfort. Some patients may experience mild pain, swelling, or bruising at the injection site. No improvement. PRP may not work for everyone, 
and some patients may not experience significant improvement in their condition. Post-injection flares. In some cases, a temporary increase in inflammation or pain may occur after the injection, but this usually subsides within a few days. PRP treatment may not be suitable for individuals with certain conditions, including blood disorders or clotting issues, active infections, certain types of cancers such as leukemia, patients on blood thinning medications. How PRP can help patients affected by arthritis. Cartilage repair and regeneration. PRP contains growth factors that may help stimulate the repair of cartilage cells, chondrocytes, and encourage the formation of new cartilage. PRP injections into the joint may promote the production of hyaluronic acid, which lubricates the joint, and collagen, a key component of cartilage tissue, slowing down cartilage degradation. Anti-inflammatory effects. In arthritis, inflammation is a major contributor to joint pain and stiffness. In arthritis, inflammation is a major contributor to joint pain and stiffness. PRP therapy has been shown to have anti-inflammatory effects, which may reduce the production of inflammatory cytokines that exacerbate the symptoms of arthritis. By reducing inflammation, PRP can also help slow the progression of arthritis, preventing further damage to the joint structures. Pain reduction. PRP may help relieve pain by promoting tissue healing and reducing inflammation within the joint. The growth factors in PRP encourage tissue repair, which can lead to a reduction in the pain associated with worn-out cartilage and inflamed joint linings. Many patients with arthritis experience a reduction in pain after PRP injections, which can lead to improved joint function and quality of life. Synovial fluid improvement. PRP may enhance the quality and quantity of synovial fluid, which is the viscous substance that lubricates the joints and enables smooth movement. PRP treatment has been shown to increase hyaluronic acid content in the synovial fluid, improving lubrication and reducing friction between the bones. This can reduce stiffness and improve joint mobility, slowing disease progression. Although PRP may not completely cure arthritis or reverse the damage caused by the disease, it is believed that PRP can slow down its progression by promoting tissue repair, improving joint lubrication, and reducing inflammation. PRP may help preserve joint health for a longer period of time delaying the need for more invasive interventions, such as joint replacement surgery. What should I expect? PRP for arthritis typically involves a series of injections. A common protocol is to administer two to three injections spaced about two to four weeks apart. Some patients may require maintenance injections over time, especially if their symptoms return. The effects of PRP may take several weeks to become noticeable as the treatment works gradually to promote healing. Patients often experience continued improvement over several months following the injections. The duration of relief from PRP varies among individuals. Some patients experience pain relief for several months or even years, while others may need repeat injections. The success of PRP treatment depends on factors such as the severity of the arthritis, the patient's overall health, and the joint being treated. Are there alternatives to PRP for arthritis? Corticosteroid injections. Corticosteroids are used to reduce inflammation and pain in arthritic joints, but the effects are short-lived, and repeated use can damage cartilage. PRP, on the other hand, offers the potential for long-term healing and tissue regeneration without the risk of cartilage damage. Hyaluronic acid injections. Hyaluronic acid injections are another common treatment for osteoarthritis, particularly in the knees, enhancing the lubrication of the joint but it does not stimulate healing. PRP may be more beneficial in terms of promoting tissue repair and reducing inflammation, though some patients respond better to hyaluronic acid injections than PRP, depending on the severity of the arthritis. Physical therapy. PRP can be used in conjunction with physical therapy to improve joint function and strengthen the surrounding muscles. It is also considered a potential alternative to surgery, particularly for patients who are not yet ready for joint replacement surgery or who prefer a less invasive treatment option. Is PRP effective and what's the evidence? While PRP treatment has gained popularity across several medical fields, its effectiveness can vary depending on the condition being treated. In some cases, PRP has shown promising results, while in others, more research is needed. Orthopedic conditions. 
There is growing evidence supporting the use of PRP for treating joint and tendon injuries, though results can be mixed. For example, some studies suggest PRP may help reduce pain and improve function in patients with knee osteoarthritis, but more research is needed to confirm its long-term effectiveness. Hair Restoration PRP has shown promising results for hair loss in some patients, particularly for androgenic alopecia. However, responses can vary, and the treatment is not always successful in every individual. Skin Rejuvenation PRP has been used for facial rejuvenation and acne scar treatment, with many patients reporting improved skin texture and appearance. Cost PRP Therapy is generally considered a cosmetic or elective procedure, which means it may not be covered by insurance. The cost can vary widely depending on the location, provider, and specific treatment area, but typically ranges from $500 to $2,500 per session, 